Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. I have a video I wish to show you of a trip that I took when I went to the Adirondack Mountains in Upper State New York, USA. Contrary to popular belief, the Adirondack Mountains, which are about a mile high up, are not part of the Appalachian Trail. They were caused by sediments that were underneath the uh, ocean water. Um, the sediments formed mountains and then there was uplift, part of it attributed to volcanic activity, a hot spot underneath the ground. That's a hypothesis. There's also, earth, also earthquakes. Of course, whenever you get mountains, usually you have earthquakes. In this video, I hired a guide to take me up the tallest mountain, Mount Marcy, 5,433 feet tall, sitting on top of the Adirondack Mountains, which are already about a mile high tall. And we travel through the Boyle Forest, and as we elevated on our climb up, you'll see that the deciduous trees disappear and all of a sudden there are pine trees and only pine trees and a very thick underlying shrubbery. As we continue to hike up the mountain, the pine trees come, become smaller and smaller. It reminds me of when you're looking for a pine tree for your Christmas tree. Until we reach the Kremholtz zone, which is a zone of underlying very small trees and shrubs and then above into the alpine zone and finally above the tree line. This video will show the geology and beauty from the vantage point of on top of Mount Marcy and um, and you'll see my guide in the video. Let's get to the video. Okay. I'm dropping my ro remote controls here. Please hang on. That's me, back when I was in undergraduate school. We've only seen three people coming our way. And... Well, shall we head to the top? Okie doke. Okay. Yeah, see all the trees are stunted. Yeah, there's, they get quite a bit of wind up there. Yeah. And the shorter ones are actually pretty much buried in snow for most of the winter. Here we're nearing the top. The Adirondack Mountains, which are in New York, consists of a circular dome of mountains 160 miles or 260 kilometers in diameter and about one mile or 1.6 kilometers high. These mountains were formed by glaciation. In this video I am hiking with a guide named Chuck up the tallest mountain in the Adirondack Mountains which is Mount Marcy at 5,344 feet. The second tallest mountain is, is Mount Whitehead. It's famous for skiing. When combined with the height of the dome, the top of Mount Marcy is at a height of 10,624 feet. 
and you see all these changes in vegetation the uh, originating around 2 billion years ago at 50,000 or 15,000 kilometers rather of sediments at the bottom of the sea located near the equator the mountains were formed continental drift caused the mountains to collide with Laurentia the precursor of North America these mountain building episode is called the Greenville orogeny mountain building is what orogeny means during this time sedimentary rock was changed into metamorphic rock Laurentia drifted away from the Baltia around 600 million years ago being pulled apart and forming the Laptis Ocean faults developed running nor north and northeast forming lakes such as Lake Placid and Lake George as well as valleys and other lakes also notice in the video that you can actually look down onto the clouds underneath we are in a rainstorm the clouds are precipitating or dropping rain on the town below whereas we are in the rainstorm in the clouds there you can see the clouds breaking apart underneath us at this time the Greenville mountains had been eroded away and the region was covered by a shallow sea thousands of feet of sediment accumulated on the seabed around 10 million years ago the region became became to be uplifted to its current height it is still being uplifted and beating the rate of denunciation also the uplift and presence of the earthquakes may indicate that the uplift is over a hot spot starting about 2.5 million years ago a cycle of Pleistocene glacial and interglacial periods started started and covering the region in ice more recently the Laurentide uh, the Laurentide ice sheet covered most of North America from 95,000 to 20,000 years ago this exhibits itself as glacial geology today such as moraines caves, outwash plains and glacial erratics Cirques are seen in Mount Whiteface, for example, the second highest mountain. Some of the rocks and minerals that I have found when I hiked around here include magnetite, hematite, garnet, and zincite. In my hike up Mount Marcy, I have seen vegetation change from the deciduous to evergreen cheese to the alpine vegetation, as the sign just said on the video. To above the tree line we are now above the tree line and I'll focus in on the video good reading Frank This is the top of Mount Marcy. Hot brakes are one a bit. Yeah, 
bit of a burp. Mark, I'm going to get one over the rock. Yeah. It's starting to rain. for a moment there. Yeah, yeah. Off to the right it's just now, so cloudy all over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's clearing up a little. Now we are descending from the peak of Mount Marcy. We're descending below the uh, cloud line and soon you'll be able to see the beautiful other mountains of the Adirondack Mountains near Mount Marcy. That's the summit. And those are the other mountains. Up there is the summit where we were. The It's an old VHS cassette. Please excuse me. I hiked up the mountain back in the early 90s. Like, uh, 91. I've been around for a while. Notice the alpine vegetation. It's very fragile and endangered. It only exists in high altitudes or far in the north. A lot of lichen and small shrubs and plants. There are the clouds. This is near Lake Placid. Mount Marcy is next to Mount Haystack. I strongly encourage people to visit the Adirondack Mountains for their beauty. This happens to be a 14 mile round trip by foot. The shortest path. Many people uh, camp overnight because it's such a hike. Look at that Japanese one was going to take the pack right up my back. Oh, really? That's what she's doing. She didn't know the difference, but it's not like she was getting ready to. Maybe she's admiring the relationship with him. Going all over like that. Wow, look at that up there. That's amazing. 
Mount Haystack is in the back. And that's it. Summit is. Of course, the summit's all thrown clouds right now. Yeah. A little babbling, little pond over there or something. A little wet. Yeah. The barney is beautiful. In terms of the fauna, no animals hike up to this height, except insects and some birds. <laughs> 